There we go. How's that? Is that better? Okay. I didn't I don't have ducking turned on or anything. All right. We'll just do a random track. Oh, we're waiting for them to come up. I guess I don't need that on there, do I? There we go. We'll just get ready for that. Okay. So much happening. Oh, he might bring his channel up onto Twitch. That would be kind of neat. All right. It should give everybody... Sorry, I'm all tabbing all the things. Um, will we clash? No, it doesn't start for until eight. It's almost seven. So we should be able to drop hosts and then switch. Now that, oh shoot, I forgot I was gonna roll rockets. Totally forgot I was gonna roll rockets. Oh well. Uh, marbles! Marbles! So if you're just tuning in, hi! My name is Annie. We're playing marbles while we wait for the launch. Um, the launch should be soon. If you're watching this later on YouTube, I still feel like the music's too loud. If you're watching this later on YouTube, uh, you can always join us on Twitch, and that's where you can have, join in on the Marble Fun. So, here we go. We're gonna do marbles. A big funnel of doom. Big old funnel of doom. So we'll just wait down here. See who, who comes out first. Well, everybody just spins and spins and spins and spins. And DPI is in the lead again. I call hacks. I totally call hacks. Around the, the whooshy bit. This looks like a pretty easy course. We shouldn't have too many... Uh... That was not me. I don't know. Was that Pamela? This looks like an easy course. I don't think we'll have too many uh, eliminations. We've got splits and some twisties and... Oh, Broken Symmetry is in the lead now. Ha ha! I 
think all of this is symmetrical. And then, oh, this is interesting. We've got pegs and holes and Tinker's like, you're talking, mom, where are my Cheerios? <laughs> oh, wow. I do like the holes, they make them a whole lot easier for this to end faster. I don't think we lost anyone on this track. I really don't. Yeah, throwing mushrooms would be cool. The closest thing to having any control over this is me playing Tilted and that doesn't go well. Come on, Planetary Pan, you can do it. All right, everybody made it. Limp Rimble won this to this time. Uh, blue shells or blue mushrooms is from a Nintendo thing. Mario Kart, yeah, there we go. All right, so here's the final results. Y'all did amazing. See, everybody up oh, and here, here goes the thing. Here goes the thing. Nope, not that one. Tinkerbell. Yeah, let's totally nerd it up. Totally, totally, totally. Okay, I have to like rearrange a gazillion things. So give me a th like three seconds. test engineer here at SpaceX headquarters in Hawthorne, California, and welcome to our launch coverage of the JCSAT-18 Pacific One mission. Now today we're launching a single high throughput communication satellite with two payloads aboard or two sets of communication equipment. One of the payloads is for Sky Perfect JSAT and the other for Pacific. We'll hear a little bit more about that later on in today's coverage. Now at this point, we're just under uh, T minus 12 minutes and counting with all systems currently go. So let's take a closer look at Falcon 9 on the pad. Starting from the base of the rocket and working our way up, we have the first stage, atop that the second stage, and finally at the very top are our payload failings, fairings, which encapsulate the satellite. Now the first stage makes up the bottom two thirds of the vehicle and it accelerates the rocket from the launch pad to the edge of the Earth's atmosphere using its nine Merlin engines. Today's first stage is a little bit sooty and that's because it previously flew two Dragon resupply missions earlier this year, CRS-17 and CRS-18. Today makes its third flight. We'll be attempting to recover this first stage on our drone ship, Of Course I Still Love You, which is currently stationed about 350 nautical miles off the east coast of Florida. Now, above the black composite inner stage sits our second stage, and its job is to carry the satellite into orbit. The second stage will separate from the first stage about two and a half minutes into flight, and then it'll ignite its Merlin vacuum or MVAC engine. For today's mission, MVAC will ignite twice to carry the JCSAT-18 Pacific One satellite to a geosynchronous transfer orbit. The first ignition should happen shortly after stage separation and the second about 27 and a half minutes into flight. Finally, the very top of the rocket is our nose cone structure called the payload fairing. It's 17 feet in diameter and it protects the satellite from the atmospheric forces, heating and contamination that occurred during liftoff and ascent. Once we're at the edge of space, we'll jettison the fairing halves back to the Earth about three and a half minutes into the flight. Now we are attempting to recover both the fairing halves today on our recovery vessels, Miss Tree and Miss Chief. Our hope is to catch one of the halves in Miss Tree's net and the other in Miss Chief's. We will not have live coverage of the fairing recovery attempt, but please stay tuned to our social media for updates as we receive them. So with that, let's take a closer look at the rocket and the satellite. Hi, I'm Kate Tice, a Senior Program Reliability Engineer here at SpaceX. We're currently tracking no issues as we count down to our 7.10 p.m. Eastern liftoff time. Falcon 9 rolled out to the pad with the JCSAT-18 Pacific One satellite around 2 a.m. local time and went vertical at 12.30 p.m. 
In fact, this is the fastest turnaround we've had to date. Just 11 days and roughly seven hours since our last launch from Space Launch Complex 40. At T minus one hour, the chief engineer held a technical poll, and at T minus 38 minutes, the launch director held a propellant load launch go, no go poll. Everything was a go, so F9 began prop loading three minutes later at T minus 35 minutes. For our propellants, we use oxidizer and fuel. The oxidizer is super chilled liquid oxygen, also called blocks, and the fuel is rocket grade kerosene, or RP1. Second stage is fully loaded with its fuel, while first stage is on track to complete fuel load about six minutes before launch. Liquid oxygen is loading currently, uh, liquid oxygen is currently underway uh, on both stages. Like I mentioned before, it's super chilled liquid oxygen. Lowering the LOX's temperature increases its density and gives Falcon 9 increased efficiency. We want to keep the LOX as cold as possible while Falcon 9 is still on the ground, so we don't complete liquid oxygen loading until the last couple minutes before liftoff. Falcon 9 uses helium to keep the fuel and liquid oxygen tanks pressurized throughout flight while propellant depletes. This also helps the RP-1 and LOX flow correctly into the Merlin engines without any air bubbles. Helium load began before the webcast went live, and we'll continue to top it off until 90 seconds before launch. In about 45 seconds, engine chill procedures will begin. We'll be opening the pre-valves between the first stage propellant tanks and the nine Merlin engines to allow a little bit of that cold liquid oxygen to flow into the turbo pumps. This will bring the hardware down to a temperature close to that of the super chill propellant that will be flowing through at liftoff. We're now at T minus seven minutes and 20 seconds. The vehicle is healthy and we're currently working no issues. The spacecraft team transferred the satellite to internal power at T minus 23 minutes, so they're ready for launch and are just monitoring spacecraft telemetry. The range is go, air and sea space has been cleared, the weather is green, and all systems continue to be go for an on-time liftoff of 7.10 p.m. Eastern. Now, as I mentioned earlier, today we're launching a single satellite with two payloads aboard, one for Sky Perfect JSAT and the other for Pacific. Sky Perfect JSAT is one of the largest providers of multi-channel pay TV broadcast services in Japan, operating the largest satellite communications business in Asia. The satellite we're launching today will provide KU band coverage and improve mobile and broadband services for customers in the Asia Pacific region, including the far eastern part of Russia. What the Sky Perfect JSAT group values the most as a satellite operator is to be connected anytime, anywhere. We operate and control geostationary satellites at 36,000 kilometers from the Yokohama Satellite Control Center and two other control centers nationwide. We use geostationary satellites to provide stable communications in the air and sea. In order to provide prompt rescue and support during and after disasters, it is necessary to secure quick communication. Satellite communication is a big asset. In addition, we have partnered with low Earth orbit satellite operators. And from JAXA, we acquired small demonstration satellites. We will enter into the sensing business that collects and uses space data. For image analysis, we provide intelligence to make informed decisions in partnership with Planet Labs Incorporated, Orbital Insight Incorporated, and others. We will continue to take on the challenge of delivering smiles. Space for your smile. Sky Perfect JSAT Group. Now, while this is our third launch for Sky Perfect JSAT, it's our first for Pacific. Pacific is a next-generation broadband satellite operator which provides high-speed, low-cost, reliable broadband to rural areas and suburban areas of the Pacific and Southeast Asia. Today's satellite will connect previously unserved or underserved populations in Southeast Asia and the Pacific Islands with affordable, high-speed broadband.
when broadband touches the world, the world changes. Opening up new possibilities for business, communities and people. Broadband is at the heart of everything we do. We connect people with affordable, high-speed satellite broadband. So they can fully participate in the digital world. With 56 high-power beams, our Pacific One satellite reaches 600 million people in 25 nations across Southeast Asia and the Pacific Islands. Based on the Boeing 702 MP platform and supported by advanced technologies, Pacific One delivers fast, efficient and reliable broadband. Because connectivity changes everything. Education, healthcare, social services and business. It drives tourism, fuels economic development and powers critical government services. Our satellite broadband is a catalyst for change improving people's lives, making a lasting difference to families and their communities. We are the heart of broadband. We are Pacific. A big thank you to the teams at SkyPerfect JSAT and Pacific for all of the hard work they've put into making today's launch possible. We're currently at T minus three minutes from liftoff. Falcon 9 is now moving into the final stages of the countdown. The first and second stages are now both fully loaded with a million pounds of kerosene fuel and liquid oxygen. The first stage should finish prop loading. Uh, actually, it just finished prop loading. Uh, and at T minus 60 seconds, you'll hear the call out that Falcon 9 is in startup. This means that the rocket's autonomous internal flight computers have taken over the launch countdown. The JCSAT-18 Pacific satellite continues to be healthy. We're tracking no issues on the rocket, weather is looking good, and the, grange, and the range is green. If for some reason we don't get to launch tonight, our backup window is tomorrow at the same time. But right now, right now Falcon 9 is go for launch. Let's listen in to the countdown nets. The beeping was my nephew trying to start a voice call. He just, he, he's watching behind the feed. Because I forgot to set my steam to do not disturb, all those, all those alerts are coming through. So, <laughs> he's still trolling me. He just watched the part where I, I uh, was cursing. Yeah, Flame Lord. But because he's not watching live, he is trying to spawn a boss during launch. Oh my goodness. Falcon 9 is in startup. He has opinions on the king slime. Go for launch. T-minus, 15 seconds. Yes. I think. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Ignition, lift off. There we go! Your call is pitching down range. Oh, wow. 
Liftoff of Falcon 9, carrying the JCSAT-18 Pacific Capital. 1 satellite to geostationary transfer orbit. Stage 1 is now in full power. Everything looks nominal. We're now, oh, you heard the call out for throttling Falcon down. Falcon 9 is supersonic. We're approaching max Q. This is when the rocket goes through the moment of greatest aerodynamic pressure. Falcon 9 is experiencing maximum aerodynamic pressure. Now the next three events that we have coming up will be in rapid succession. Main engine cutoff, stage separation, and second engine start one. Main engine cutoff, or as you'll hear it called out, Miko, is where all nine engines of Falcon 9 first MVAC stage shut chill. down. You just heard the call out for MVAC engine chill. Again, that's when we're um, pre-chilling those turbo pumps on the second stage. Now, the Miko will be followed by stage separation, or the separation of the first and second stages. Finally, second engine start, where we'll light the Merlin vacuum engine on the second stage, and begin and, and begin to carry the uh, satellite to its targeted orbit. Let's listen in for those. Miko coming up in 20 seconds. So trajectory is looking good. Engine still at full power. On the left hand side of your screen. Miko. Stage so stage. There we go. So there on your screen as the second engine, excuse me, as the second stage engine begins to glow a bright orange, uh, we have confirmation First there. First and second of stage are on a nominal stage, trajectory. Of the stage separation and second engine start one. So on the left hand side of your screen uh, that you'll see stage one as it begins its descent to uh, the drone ship, of course, I still love you. You can actually see the lights of Cape Canaveral there in the background. And then on the right-hand side of your screen, like I said, is the second stage. So we're coming up to fairing deployment. We jettison the fairing to shed any unnecessary weight from the second stage. Fairing separation is confirmed. So as you see there, fairing has separated. Again, we are attempting to catch those uh, on our recovery vessels. Uh, but we now have confirmation that uh, second stage is uh, performing nominally, um, and we are looking good so far for today's mission. Acquisition of signal Bermuda. Now, at this point in the mission, the first stage is currently on a parabolic trajectory from the launch site going towards Of Course I Still Love You, which again is about 350 nautical miles off the Florida coast. To successfully land, the first stage will need to do a few things. First, it'll need to reorient so its engines and heat shield enter the Earth's atmosphere first. Then it'll reignite three of its Merlin engines for entry burn to reduce the aerodynamic forces and heating experience as it transitions back into the thicker parts of the Earth's atmosphere. Once it's in the atmosphere, the grid fins will take over, guiding the rocket towards, of course, I still love you. When we're above the drone ship, a little after T plus eight minutes into flight, the center Merlin engine will ignite for landing burn, followed by landing leg deploy, and hopefully a gentle touchdown on, of course, I still love you. Entry burn is scheduled to begin in about a minute from now, and it'll last about 20 seconds. First and second stage continue to follow a nominal trajectory. And we're seeing some, some slight plumes on the left. That's the shot from the first stage 
We're obviously in the Earth's shadow right now. And on your right side is the second stage MVAC engine continuing its burn. Just about 20 seconds away from entry burn begin. Stage one FTS has saved. Stage one entry burn startup. And there's relight of those three Merlin vacuum engines. Now, fun fact, JCSAT-14 was actually the first time SpaceX successfully landed a geosynchronous transfer mission on a drone ship. Since then, we've made 43 successful landings between drone ships and on land. Stage one, entry burn shutdown. And we're hoping to make tonight's attempt our 47th successful first stage recovery. So if you're just joining us, the first stage just concluded its entry burn. It's on its way back to, of course, I still love you. The second stage is continuing its uh, first engine burn towards a parking orbit. And that's taking the JCSAT-18 Pacific One satellite up into orbit around the Earth to prepare for a second burn happening shortly after. Now landing burn on the first stage and secondary engine cutoff number one will happen about the same time. Both of those are scheduled for about T plus eight minutes. Stage one, entry transonic. Second stage has entered terminal guidance. At this point in the mission, the grid fins are guiding the first stage towards, of course, I still love you. We'll hopefully get a, a video feed back here for the first stage shortly. Stage one, landing burn startup. Stage two FTS is saved. Go on. Stage one, landing leg deploy. Now, a bunch of things happened there. Secondary engine cut off number one just happened. The spacecraft is in a good parking orbit. And Booster 1056 has just recovered it for the third time. This is our 47th successful landing. Congratulations to the whole team here. Now, with that, the second stage is currently in orbit and will continue coasting for about 20 minutes until the phasing is correct for secondary engine start number two. We're gonna pause live coverage for now, but we'll be back at about T plus 27 minutes for MVAC engine relight. Until then, please enjoy this animation of the vehicle's progress and we'll see you back here shortly. All right, so this is the obligatory, hi sister! Uh, my sister and her kid are watching live. So, uh, yeah, that was a pretty cool uh, launch. I am kind of bummed that we really couldn't see it um, landing because it was just too dark to see it landing. Um, but yeah, cue hipster space music. So we're in a coast phase now for I don't know how long. Um... So yeah, yeah, I guess it's time for more. Do I still have marbles up? Yeah, it was anti bright, but it stayed on the trip. Oh, that is the cutest emote ever, Astro. All right, this is the last of my Cheerios. And make it rain, so I'm gonna have to refill. Can I refill my Cheerios from there? Arnstro says, my sis was so excited for a moment there. Hi, Arnstro sister. <laughs> oh, more bits. Okay, hold on. Oh, I need to get the Cheerios. 
totally need to get the Cheerios. It, that, it is an adorable emote. So, there we go. Alright, we got more Cheerios. So I can throw more Cheerios at the dogs. Ugh. And, are you ready? Speak. Run. All right, if nobody had barking dogs, and eh, make it rain. If nobody had barking dogs. There you go. Now there's barking dogs on the uh, on the bingo card. I think somebody said that they still had five spaces. Wait, there's five spaces left until uh, they had the full card. So, um, yeah, Limprimble, it is not unusual for the first stage uh, video to cut out right before it lands and I've seen people ask about this on the interwebs and I think it has to do with all of the vibration that literally just vibrates all of the equipment so hard. Oh hello Space Dive! There's a whole bunch of people in here. Hello Daddy Cupcake. So yay! All oh, the little corgi emotes are adorable. Trucker Kev says plasma interference with the dilithium core. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Um. <laughs> it kind of looked like it's Hellport landing. Oh my. Oh my. Um. Yeah, things and stuff. I, I think it just is too much vibration for the equipment. <sighs> okay, so I have a whole lot of things going on all at once, apparently. Um, all right. Has anyone ever seen a live fairing live feed for the fairing recovery? They do the fairing recovery way too late. Um, yeah, they didn't say delta v this time. They didn't say thrust. I don't know if they said deploy. Expected loss of signal. Fair and catch. Oh yeah, we did watch um, a failed catch once. Oh, they did say deploy. Okay, if you guys have deploy, you can cross that off. So let me change my scene a little bit. Um, I'll just leave the background music on. So I have marked off, and this is probably not everything. I have marked off mystery, mischief, Boeing, Nominal should be marked off. Um, I said coasting phase. Chill should be marked off. Seco. Fairing separation totally happened. Uh, SpaceX Max Q. Stage one landing. Lift off. Japan should be marked off. Mecco. Landing and re entry burn. Uh, the dog's barking. Of course, I still love you. Or O C I S L Y. Uh, J C Sat 18. They probably mentioned R P 1. Merlin engines. Pacific. Stage one separation. I know they mentioned locks. And any whining about me missing a launch because I know I've whined about that at least twice. Um, I think atmosphere was mentioned in the context of atmospheric pressure. So, um, yeah. A Cape Canaveral should have been mentioned. So the things I do not have crossed off are Sky Perfect, which probably was mentioned in a... So Sky Perfect should be crossed off, I'm sorry. Um, okay, they did mention Atmosphere, good. And they did say Sky Perfect, because I was like, there were space commercials, there should have been Sky Perfect. Um, so I don't have Delta V, Payload Separation, Thrust, Deploy, Sonic Booms, Fairing Catch. That's what I'm missing from my call list. So, should have been? I don't know. Hmm. Same minus Deploy. Oh, Deploy did happen. Okay. Deploy. <sighs> I 
And my nephew is making uh, toad puns in the other... Nah, they didn't say Skype effect. My, my nephew's totally making toad puns. Totally making toad puns in uh, Steam chat. So if you, had, if you have some toad puns for him, he would be ecstatic to hear them. As Paranoia takes this uh, opportunity to update all the commands. All the commands. What is a toad pun? Oh yeah, Cape Canaveral should have been mentioned. It should have been. Um, puns are just a uh, play on words. Puns are just play on words and toad is, toads are related to frogs, but they're different and I can't remember how they're different. They're both amphibians, they both look very similar. Um, but he's just making toad, he's just making toad puns. So instead of, um, totally, he's saying total, toad Ali. So, all right, uh, somebody said they were going tonight. Um, all right, good night, Rigel. And now he's just laughing in chat. So Space Dive says, why did the ki chicken cross the toad? I don't know. Why? Why did the chicken cro cross the toad? Um, yeah, they said Lights of the Cape. That is totally close enough. Uh, more marbles? Yeah, we can do more marbles. Let me get that... Uh, I don't know if I have marbles open. I may have closed it. Give me one second to figure out if I have marbles open. Because it wanted to get to the other side. Because birds are flighty. Oh, y'all are hilarious. Alright. So I want to mute. No, I'm not going to mute this. Uh, marbles and streams. You don't know? Oh, no. Alright, I already have ducking on. So yeah, we're missing four total. Okay. Um, there we go. Here's some marbles. So let's do... Holiday Vertical Circuit? Let's do Holiday Vertical Circuit. Yeah, we are totally doing marbles. We are totally... Totally doing marbles during Coast Phase. Um, because why not? Because why not? Alright, so you have a minute and 40 seconds to join. You just press uh, type exclamation point play. Whoa. Veronica Cure, I will either mail your package before I go to Edwardsville or it's going to Edwardsville with me. This much has been decided. <laughs> my nephew says, I'm still watching my I see you. Okay, hold on. I have to shift tab. Okay. And he is now watching Marvels on stream. Kind of a toad joke. Falco says, a man walks into a bar with a newt on his shoulder. The bartender says, what a strange pet. What's his name? Tiny, the man replies. What an odd name. Why do you call him Tiny? Because he's my newt. Aww. That's adorable. You can't... Buddy, you can't, you can't troll me on this. She turned me into a newt! <laughs> Nephew does not have a Twitch account, so uh, he, he can't have his own marble. Through Cheerios of the dogs. What are channel points and when did this start? Um, Toad is a Mario character. Uh, we've had channel points for a while, I think. And they aren't really good for anything right now, honestly. This is an interesting funnel. You've got like 
gears and then into the funnel. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. This, this is wild. Oh look, it makes a tree. It looks like if you manage to get down the center one, like Paranor did, you get a shortcut. Oh yeah, that's right. Uh, they are useful during the Hangout-a-thon. I can't remember why though. We got some sticky cubes. I, I think everybody, uh, nope, nope, somebody hit the sticky cubes. And down into another funnel. All right. I am I am flailing here. Oh yeah, raffle tickets. That's one of the ways we do uh, giveaways. Look at me not remembering stuff. Look at me not remembering stuff. All right, I know I zoomed out way too much, so we'll zoom back in. For prizes that usually come. I know, Veronica, I'm telling you, it's either going out in the mail tomorrow, because unfortunately I will have a car tomorrow, and, um, or it's going to Edwardsville. I, I may just shove extra things in your package. Because I, yeah. Oh, stars are last year and current. Oh, channel points are something new. Okay. Falco says, what kind of sh shoes do frogs wear? Uh, I don't know. What kind of shoes do frogs wear? A lot of twisties. Haha, -ha, paranormal gets stuck on a sticky cube. Is Canada Kim going? No! Is our instructor going? No! Everybody got stuck on the sticky cubes. Oh, Canada Kim avoided that one. Veronica says, I got a mini Bennu. I'm good for a long time. Open toed sandals. That is a good one, Falco. That is a very good one. All right. All right. All right. Trucker Kev is bringing up the rear. I don't think we lost anyone on this one. Apparently, I'm making fun of my boss, according to my nephew. What do you call an illegally parked frog? I don't know, Falco. What do you call an illegally parked frog? Yeah, I'm confused too, Star Strider. Toad! Oh no! An illegally parked frog is called a toad! Alright, if you liked it, type exclamation point vote. <laughs> And yes or no. I'll give you guys some time to vote. Yeah, Flame Lord is being a tiny bit of a troll. It's okay. We heart you, Flame Lord. We heart you. Um. All right, I'm not seeing any other votes come in, so I'm gonna click. All right, our instructor will give you a second to fix that. There you go. Toad, yes. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. All right. Yeah, toad away. All right. I know you hear me, buddy. I know you hear me. All right. So let's go to the race menu. I don't, we didn't lose anyone that time. Fantasy ship trek. We've, st we've done that one because I started. We want a low elimination rate. 
Um, the stream is still there. Stunning timeless journey. We can do that. 17 does sound interesting. It, and it has a pretty decently low elimination rate. Oh, all right, let's do seven. Let's do number 17, New Delusional World. Yeah, no, there was, oh wait, hold on. There are things happening. Hold on, give me a second. I think, I think you're right. I think it was just cycling through cameras. All right. Welcome back to the webcast for JCSAT 18 Pacific One. Thanks for hanging out with us while we coasted through there. In case if you're just joining us, we had an on-time launch of Falcon 9 followed by a successful drone ship landing of Stage 1. Stage 2 was confirmed for a good orbit, so we're now approaching second engine start 2. Engine chill has begun on the Merlin vacuum engine, and in, um, in about 30 seconds, we'll see the second relight of and back. They're like, things are happening, but they don't give us much to look at, do they? There they go. Now there's... Nope. 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 And there on your screen, we can see MVAC as it has reignited. Uh, a little difficulty maintaining the video stream there. It's a little hard uh, to get video from space, as you might imagine. Uh, but we'll bring that back to you uh, as we can provide it. So we're waiting to hear the confirmation of good orbit. Sorry, I misspoke. We are waiting for a second engine cutoff followed by good orbit. Fun fact, stage two is uh, approaching the coast of Africa right now. So it made quite some distance in the little bit of time that we were coasting. Blame Skype for the bad link up. Zico. And second engine cutoff as we lose the cheesy orange glow of MVAC there. So we're waiting on that confirmation of Normal good orbit. orbit insertion for payload deploy. And we have confirmation of good orbit. So now that that's the case, we will be coasting for the next five minutes or so. So we'll be back just before T plus 33 minutes for satellite deployment. Stay tuned. Okay, more marbles. I have not hit start yet. Everybody must be just off screen. So I want to hit start. So you have a minute and 40 to type in play. And we have Tinker Whining. Wow, a whole bunch of new faces today. Hello, new people. Hello, new people. want to play buddy but you have to have a twitch account to play that is literally the 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 requirement it doesn't i can't just add a marble i wish i could just add random marbles but i cannot add random marbles you want to have a michael t mark no, I didn't miss a marble. Uh, whatever, hold on, let me fix the music. It's kind of loud. There we go. Uh, the music is from SpaceX's stream. I have nothing to do with this music. Yeah, I don't have all my marbles. <sighs> okay, okay, Flame Lord, okay. Soon, soon. Just so you can play marbles. 
All right, and everybody's off. Again, this one's kind of dark. It looks like everybody's being split and then they go down into the funnel. This is actually kind of different than everybody going down the same funnel. Whoa, have people leaving the funnel already? I don't know. I occasionally forget the control. Whoa, look at that, it's so pretty. All right, we're just gonna appreciate all of these lights. Although I should probably catch up to where everybody else is. Oh wow, this is scary looking. There's like sticky blocks in there all the way in the the yeah this is terrifying there's pegs and there's blocks and this is terrifying <laughs> agent warlock asks is this a magic school bus special no not quite but uh there are four toilets in space and at least one table and Oh, okay, there we go. Everybody came out. Oh, really? That's the finish. It's mostly a hidden thing. One table, at least 38 windows. I don't know how many doors yet. Oh, wow. This was an interesting one. All right, Tink, have some... Have, have the thing. Um... No more games tonight. Uh for stream star uh flame lord because after this there is uh, a show that's going to be on so after this oh shoot i don't know how you got first but you did Welcome uh, if you like the to our webcast for jc set 18 hold on one. second stage is currently over africa and where is it? I lost seconds, it. Or, yeah, 20 How did I lose it? Seconds, we'll have payload deployment. There we go. Final results. Bad Panda Bear, followed by Canada Kim, Michael T. Meyer, Autumn's Rain, Limp Rimble, Smith there Spanky. On your screen you see the deployment of JCSAT-18 Pacific 1. There it goes. I always love watching as the satellite floats away from second stage out into space. Again, this was geostationary transfer orbit. So with that confirmation of deployment, we will bring our webcast to a close. Thanks for tuning in uh, for our liftoff from Cape Canaveral Air Force Station, followed by a successful stage one drone ship landing, and as you just saw, successful satellite deployment. Payload separation there, just Thank mark it off. Thank you to our customer, SkyPerfect JSAT, and to Pacific for entrusting us with today's mission. We also want to give a big thanks to the Air Force's 45th Space Wing for providing range safety and to the Federal Aviation Administration for licensing today's launch. Marcus. Now, of course, we also want to thank all of you, our viewers, for tuning in to today's launch. Please follow our website and social media platforms for updates on our next missions and milestones. And until the next time, we hope you have a wonderful rest of your evening. All right. I'm just gonna go ahead and mute that and we're gonna switch to this even though we're not waiting for the thing anymore um there we go yeah no there was they didn't mention anything about sonic booms there was nothing said about thrust so that's that's kind of unfortunate so coming up next is let me rearrange everything Coming up next is Open Space with Fraser. This will be a simulcast uh, that Paranormal will be hosting. I am going to get off um, get off Twitch and sounds like play more video games. So good night, DPI. Good night to everybody that stayed up late. I know this was kind of a late launch for you. Um, there are two more launches scheduled for this week. I know we're covering one of them, and by we, I mean Dr. Pamela, because she's the one that's going to get up early for that. And, um, yeah, things and stuff. 
so but yeah uh thanks for joining us uh as always this has been y'all are amazing um by Annie's sister and her kid <laughs> there you go yeah i think i think the kiddo is still watching um so yeah uh thank you everybody this has been a production of PSI, that's Planetary Science Institute, working in collaboration with Youngstown State University here in Youngstown. It's dark outside. I hope it's not snowing Youngstown, Ohio. Uh, PSI is a 501c3, which is just fancy speak for your donations are tax deductible where the law allows. So yeah, if you live in the US and you're looking to donate somewhere, that we, we totally count. We totally count. Um... I feel like I'm forgetting something. Our producer is Susie. Thank you, Susie. And yeah, things and stuff. Yeah. Um, the wall of text is just amazing. Uh, the Hangout-a-thon is soon. Join us then. It's going to be fun. We're going to play video games. I haven't quite decided which video games. And, uh, yeah. Things and stuff, stuff and things. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, thank you all for being awesome. Have a wonderful insert time of day here. And I will see you soonish. And maybe if I'm lucky, I'll actually roll the credits before we really get going. Um, again, thank you for all your support. We really, really, really couldn't do this without you. And that's being completely serious and honest so yeah thanks for letting me have this really cool job y'all all right uh, i think that's enough of my rambling i'm gonna roll the credits we're going to drop the stream drop the feed and then uh, paranor is going to pick it up shortly after that so thanks all bye